a moment of great fulfillment for these hard-working and dedicated officers also takes the Gambia Armed Forces to a milestone in its history as the top command on Vail's promotion to various ranks. The historic occasion was graced by the Chief of Defence Staff, the Minister of Defence and top senior officials of the Gambia Armed Forces. The jubilant decoration even citing the service and work of all decorated officers brought a shower of messages and advice to the officers facing another daunting challenge ahead in their future engagements, which were sealed with an oath of allegiance and secrecy defining their core values as officers. I shall always work towards the maintenance of high standard of unity, patriotism, promotion according to the officials is based on hard work, dedication and loyalty to the nation. The decoration ceremony was a moment of great excitement and education delivery which needed guidance to promoted officers now expected to lead and deliver by example following the strongest ethics of the armed forces. As a nation, to work towards the, the Chief of Defense Staff Major General Yanku Wadrami commended the promoted officers and challenged them to always observe the ethical principles of the profession. You constitute the cream of the officer corps, giving you interpersonal relationship with your subordinate. How you speak to them, how you behave to them, will determine the subsequent actions of those soldiers under your command. More so today, we as an institution, we should redeem our image. That's a responsibility that behoves you and I. CDS drama further advised officers to be ready to take responsibilities and live up to expectations as divine in their service guidelines. Over 600 officers of the Gambia Armed Forces were promoted this year to various ranks due to their dedication and commitment to national service. The Minister for Defense, while extending his message of felicitation, emphasized the importance of discipline and professionalism which he described as core values of the military establishment. This represents a milestone in our quest to address the much needed human resources. And due to our reforms and increased commitments, both at home, front, and in the international arena. Therefore, regular and systematic promotion of our personnel is in line with our quest to build a force commensurate to its current and anticipated future assignments. My ministry will continue to support the Gambia Armed Forces in this endeavor. Since the change of regime four years now, the country has been undergoing serious security sector reforms. This has been a key priority of the Adamaboro administration, which is moving to enhance civil-military relations. Reporting for the news, I am Baba Silla.